I did decide to participate in the 100 Colorful Empties this year. Uh, Haley0614, I believe, is her handle. I will put down down below exactly what, what it is. Uh, it was very encouraging, and there are a whole lot of people on Instagram, which I'm now more active on, um, who are participating in the 100 Colorful Empties. But before I can do that... I have to deal with my travel and sample size uh, edition. So this, um, this is a bag of empties. I know I got rid of a whole bunch of them uh, already. I don't know how, but I had a lot. And, um, I, you know, I don't know where all the... I must have recycled all the packaging. So the only thing I can do is give you what I have in here and then go over all the stuff that I plan to include um, in the next sample and travel size. So I'm going to start out first by emptying this and then um, I will go over each of these products. So uh, I'm just going to go over each thing really quickly. Uh, this Aussie's 3 Minute Miracle um, Moist is like a really really great deep conditioner especially when your hair is super damaged and mine is not anymore because there's no color in it anymore but I did still enjoy this however I'm not sure if it's cruelty free or not and so I wouldn't purchase it again unless I found out for sure that it was this Vichy um, Eau Thermal spring water was really really nice I really enjoyed it and um Unfortunately, it's Vichy, so it's not cruelty-free. I believe it sells in China um, because if it is created in France, then it's part of the European Union where they outlawed um, non-cruelty-free items, but that doesn't mean that they don't sell in China. So I believe Vichy is not cruelty-free at this point because it's selling in China. Uh, Nexus I know is not cruelty free. I know it sells in China for sure. This was a very nice mousse, but it was not anything to write home about. It wasn't like, wow, awesome mousse, gotta have more. Um, it was okay. By the way, I had a whole bunch of foil samples too that I used. Uh, these two Murad products, um, the refreshing cleanser was okay, just okay. Honestly, it was not like my favorite thing, so I would not repurchase. However, the AHA BHA exfoliating cleanser, which is so awesome, I already have repurchased and I have a big container of it. So yeah, it, this is great, great, great stuff. Then there's this Briogeo Don't Repair, uh, Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Honestly, did absolutely nothing for me. I think I have an unopened tube that I am going to probably put on Poshmark now because I just didn't think this was that great. I don't know what all the fuss is about. This Buse, uh, Buse, <laughs> this Juice Beauty Cleanser, Blemish Clearing Cleanser. Um, I have a full size one of these somewhere. I'm not sure where I put it, but I do have a full size and I've been afraid to use it because this is, says blemish clearing. However, I do want to let you know that this was not, it didn't strip my skin. Now, that having been said, my skin can take a lot and so, um, you know, it might be a little more harsh on more sensitive skin, but it was, it was great. So I think I'm going to use the big container that I have. I always have a little Pure Lease on hand. This is the sample size, travel size rather, um, with the SPF 30. I still have one that I'm working on that doesn't have sunscreen. But anyway, this was, was super, super nice. And um, the only thing is with the SPF in it, it did sting around my eye area. So now I have dedicated sunscreens that I use, so I probably wouldn't buy this again. If it came in a box, I wouldn't be upset, but, uh, you know, and this came in a box, but, uh, you know, I like it, but I can live without the sunscreen part. Now this here, this is the Total Defense and Repair sunscreen. 
Oh my god. In fact, I have two of them. Let's see, is this exactly the same? Um, this one is Everyday Clear Total Essential Defense. Okay, so I have two, two um, Skin Medica items that I really, truly love. Like, I really, really love. Now, this one is one that I might consider buying, maybe. Total Defense and Repair. Right now, there is a sale going on on Skin Medica products on Derm Store, but I don't have the money to be buying stuff, so... Um, I do love this, but, you know, I just won't be buying it, probably. <laughs> this one I liked better of the two. This is called Everyday Clear. It's Essential Defense Everyday Clear SPF 47. Now, I, I think it's made more for people who have some pimples. I don't really have any right now. Um, in fact, my breakouts are usually restricted to around my nose area, and the Retin-A takes care of that. But this was really nice. It didn't make my skin feel greasy. I didn't have a huge white cast. I really like this so much. So anyway, I might keep this tube just so I remember to buy it. I've had a couple of these Dermalogica Phyto Replenish oils, and this this is still one of my favorite oils, but it's like $70 or $68 or $78 or some crazy amount for a ounce bottle, so I'll never buy it, even though Dermalogica is cruelty-free. By the way, Skin Medica is currently also cruelty-free. Okay, um, two more products that are not cruelty-free are the La Roche-Posay. I actually had two of these hydrating cleansers, and I really did enjoy this. I enjoyed it very much, but it's not cruelty-free. I have seen this cleanser in my local CVS. I'll have to look and see if there's a CVS version, because CVS is cruelty-free. Don't know if you guys all know that, but CVS put out a, um, like a statement that they are not... If you want to have the CVS Beauty 360 name on your label, that you have to be cruelty-free, and all your suppliers have to be cruelty-free. I think that's pretty awesome. So I've started buying a lot more CVS brand. Um, so this is like definitely really um, good cleanser. I really liked it. So I'm going to look for a CVS brand that's similar. They're usually sitting right on the shelf next to them. Skin Clinical Extreme Healing. I actually had two of these tubes. And it's nice, but I'm going to show you what actually worked. This, this is really good for eczema, and a lot of people find that this does work for them, but I found something that works better for me and actually cleared up my derma, uh, dermatitis slash eczema. Okay, so I, right next to Eucerin for eczema was the CVS Health Ex, Eczema Relief Cream. It does say compared to... Um, compare to Eucerin uh, Eczema Relief Body Cream. This I use on my hands because that's where most of my um, dermatitis is. And my skin went from cracked, red, painfully itchy to completely clear. It's, you know, you can see that it's still dry. I didn't put any cream on yet today. But it was all the way up by my pinky. It was all over the back of my hand. And honestly, I, I, now I don't know how I can live without this. This is um, one of those creams that uh, just like has no fragrance uh, dye and it's steroid free, by the way. Has ceramide 3 and oatmeal. Oatmeal is uh, the reliever for itchy skin. And this is like awesome and it was much cheaper than the name brand so this is what I'm talking about here guys the CVS brand of whatever your favorite product is look for it so now I'm going to go over what I'm going to be bringing into the next sample travel size to start with I have this Murad uh, retinol youth renewal serum and it's a nice little tube, and it looks nice and airtight and all that. So I think that it's probably okay. It's got a reverse pump. You can see the tiny holes in the bottom. 
Um, whenever you see little tiny holes in a pump type of a thing, then it's a reverse pump that you've got, which actually I really like because it doesn't allow air in. I will also be adding both of these Amica bombshell blowout sprays because one of them is, is full to the very top and one of them is like not, it's like pretty low. So I'm going to include both of those and just to refresh and make sure that you could actually see it because I know this is one of the reasons I'm doing this vlog style is because I have viewers who say, I didn't see that because the camera's busy trying to focus on a face. Um, so sometimes doing this vlog style helps. Anyway, this is the Amica Bombshell Blowout Spray. And it says Sea Buckthorn Berry. Um, and that's actually like a flowering plant. And so it's supposed to be good. It's in like skincare and all kinds of stuff, Sea Buckthorn. So, all right. I also have this Glytone, um, Triple Defense Brightening Complex. Now this is a little tube. And so it won't take me long to use up. There we go. Now if I open this and it smells bad, I'll just uh, let you know and I'll toss it out. But I don't think it's going to because it's still sealed. And um, I'm going to keep it in the box just because the tube is so stinking small. So I'm going to also be including that. And I have all those products to go over, so please be patient. So I have this Belif container that I've been keeping on the edge of my sink and grabbing stuff out and using it up. So I'm going to pull this all out and go over it with you. Ah, you know what? These are really old. This is the... Um, it's skin suticals too, so I don't feel like it's like a tragedy not to use this stuff. These are so old that I don't think I'm going to use them. I don't think it's worth taking a chance. Um, and I think I'm going to throw them away because they're not even, they're so old that I don't think they're even safe for anyone else to use. Oh, there's another one that got away. So now I'm going to go over these things. One of them is not really a travel size, um, but I keep it in the bag and therefore um, it's actually a full size. So I'm not going to talk about it very much because this is going into my full size um, skincare project. But these Nia 24 drops are really nice and they are treatment catalyst and they have like vitamins and stuff in them. But I keep that in this Belif bag because I use, use these every day until they run out anyway but that is actually going to be part of my skincare challenge because this is full size and it's like sixty dollars so yeah it was, uh... um all right so i also have this murad rapid collagen um infusion and you can see i put a mark for where i am on this about halfway i have this pure lease and you can see i made a line here um, for where I am and um, this is like pretty full I think well I guess it's about half but I, I love this cream okay I also have this Dermalogica cream I tried to mark it but it's like I ha got so much cream and stuff it's not up to there it's like now down around half this Dermalogica um, phyto replenish oil. This is full. I just put this in there. I also have this cleansing oil from Burt's Bees and I really want to try this out and see how I feel about it just because I they have it now at my CVS and if it's a good cleansing oil then I'm gonna um, buy it the full size. Okay this is a mask from H2O which is not a cruelty free brand. It's Aqua Defense. It's one of those that you peel off. Aveeno, this is not cruelty free but it is cream I always loved and by the way there is one for this and one for the Positively Radiant in CVS brand. So take a look at your CVS if you want to remain cruelty free. Um, when these are gone I might and I get through some of my skin creams, I might actually buy it. All right, I have two of these nightly lip treatment. And I really debated with myself about whether I wanted to put both of these in because 
They look almost full size. Let's see, how much are you? Actually, they're 0 0.14 ounces each, so... Um, yeah, I'll keep them both in. Uh, this is Palmetto Derma, and it is one of their... Um, it's their... Let's see, let me read it. Intensive Hydration and... And firming serum. <laughs> I used to have a full size of this. Um, this is a cream. Now they said, would you like us to send you a sample of our new uh, cream? And I was like, sure, thinking I would get like an actual like decent size container. And they only sent me this little tiny thing. And it's not even half full. So, I, you know, I don't know. Is, is it giving away gold or what? I mean, I know that it's expensive stuff, but... They can produce it and give it uh, away pretty easily. All right, so I'm going to pack everything back into this Belif bag because I'm going to pretty much be using all this stuff every night. So I'm going to have to add these too. All right, I don't know which alginist cream this is. And if I open it and it's disgusting, I will declutter it. Um, but this is an eye cream that I do know. So I'll put that aside. And this one is the... I have a couple of these, I think. This is the Alginus Genius eye cream. So um, I'm gonna keep this in also. Okay, so I did manage to get the majority of stuff back in this bag, plus a few things. Uh, I'm gonna take the big thing out of the drawer first um, because this is gonna go right back in my cabinet. And this is the uh, travel size uh, 12 in one amazing leave-in treatment by IT hair care not it cosmetics but anyway this is 3.4 ounces um and i do really like this uh it's supposed to in, you know increase your shine and all that but it's a leave-in uh conditioner and i do really like how this smooths my hair out a little bit so this is going to go back into my cabinet um this elizabeth arden eye cream is i i didn't know where this was this actually managed to hide this is a full size. Um, I also have this Daily Botanical Enzyme Peel. I got this in a na natural beauty box. I have this small Wren, um, and this is a glycolic lactic acid radiance renewal mask. So it does basically the same thing. All right, and this one is um, Keep Young and Beautiful Instant Firming Beauty Shot. It's just a cream. I'll put that in there so that I use it up quick. All right, these are two of the same product. They are both Evercom by Ren and their Global Protection Day Cream. Okay, this is the Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. I have a full size now, but this one um, is about ready to get used up so that I can just move on to the full size stuff. I do have this It CC Cream, and I did use this. Um, this is in my color light, and I got it in a Ipsy bag. By the way, I've just been elevated to Glam Plus, so you'll be seeing me unbox that. I know everyone's Glam Plus is the same, but you know what? It looks like they do vary slightly. But you know what? If you don't see my reaction, you don't know how I feel. So I'm going to let you see my reaction. But anyway, this It CC Cream is included in the travel size um, um, project pan just because this tube, it's pretty full, but it's going to go pretty fast. So um, it'll be nice to use that up. And I have two Tula creams that are also in this. Man, I have a lot of colorful empties here. <laughs> so anyway, this Tula cream, I have a neck cream and a face cream. Um, the advanced neck cream and the hydrating day and night cream. This is a purifying, brightening, peeling gel. And I it does pretty much the same thing as the other peeling stuff I have. Um, but it's a one packet treatment. So I'm going to use this up. It does feel really full. Like I think I might get more than one use out of it. I have two of these Luzerne sets LA Defense Urban Protect and it's like a cream and let's see what's in here. So each box has a an LA Urban Protect detox mask detox mask in it and the 
Urban Defense Daily Moisturizer. And the last things that I had in that bag were two body creams. One is Cuccio Balancing Lotion. It's a company that makes like yoga type stuff. And this also is pretty new. I don't know where it came from though. <laughs> and it's called um, Faith Aromatherapy Citrus Ginger Cream, but it's body cream also. Don't know how the citrus and ginger are going to feel on me. So now I'm going to go over everything in that drawer and I'll be right back. I have it bye bye under eye and I'm actually going to put that over here because I'm going to use it. I want to try that out. It might be a little dark on me, which is a problem, but anyway, this is um, something else from Beauty Fix exfoliating fa facial cleanser and moisturizer. So I'm going to stand these up in the front. This is Sephora Mask Boo Frickin' Frickin' Mud Mask. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put this over here because I'm going to use that up. Uh, I did find out that I love Eminence, but Eminence is also very expensive. Um, this is Bamboo Firming Fluid, and it's just a little packet, but it's like a definitely a generous amount, not just like a one time. So... I put that in the front. I hope to use that um, early on. Then there's this Derm Institute, and it's two packs. Um, one of them is an ant. Oh, they're both the same. Antioxidant gel mask. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll put those with that stuff, just because I know I'm going to use it faster. Hungarian water essence. I already know I love this stuff. I really love this stuff, but I can't buy it. But anyway, I did get a sample and I'm going to use it. Okay, speaking of Belif, I have this little jar of cream. I'm going to put this in the drawer because it's not going to get used right away. And this is the um, True Cream. It's not the water-based cream, the gel cream. Um, I know you're not going to believe it, but I have another um, exfoliating thing, and this is by Derma E, and it's Microdermabrasion Scrub. I'm going to put this over here because I do want to use that pretty quickly. Um, I have another scrub that I'm going to put there, and this one is Glow Baby by Pacifica, and I think that's definitely worth enjoying, trying and enjoying. This is the It Number 50... It's some kind of a serum. Uh, you could probably read it better than I can. And huh, I'm going to just put it in there because I'm not sure when I'm going to use that. I have a bunch of colognes. There's black opium, which I've already smelled and like. So I'm going to put that back there. Uh, then I have Nicole. And I've smelled that and I liked it. So I'll put that back there. And this one is Guerlain. And that's pretty nice. So anyway, this is... Um, some kind of a face oil. Um, I have quite a few eye creams out. So even though I have this stress positive eye lift, which I really should use first because it's Dermalogica, I'm not going to. I'll put it right here though, near the front of this drawer so I can get to it pretty easily. Okay, I also have this um, Caviar Infinite Color Hold Top Coat Shine Spray. Then I have this Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. I don't know what it primes you for, but I guess it's for blow drying, so I'll put that back there. Then I have this Aven Hydrians, um, Aven Hydrians Optimal. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I know it's French, but it's a cream. This is Aven a oxidative and this is a antioxidant protection cream. I have a Dermalogica pre-cleanse oil. This gommage is a um, mask type product. Um, then there's Burt's Bees and this is a facial oil which I haven't tried yet. I'm looking forward to it. And I have two more of these things. Uh, one of them is Good Girl Carolina Herrera. Anyway, this is a cologne. It comes, it's got this neat high heel thing. So, but anyway, I'm going to keep that in there. And I just know where all the colognes are. And this one is um, vanilla blackberry cologne. And so, yeah, that sounds really good to me. So anyway, 
I also have this um, Celestial Hills Organics Body Serum, which is basically an oil, and it's got a little crystal in the bottom oh. of the bottle, but you can't see it. I'm going to keep that in there. I also have um, this Touchable Curl Cream. Um, and this is by Parlor. It's nice, not like fabulous, but it's nice enough to use. And so I'll put it in there. I think I'm going to have to put a few of these items in there. I do have a couple of packets. Uh, this I'll put on my vanity. This is in the color medium. So I'm going to try medium and see how it looks on me. And this one is Supple Facial Toner by Claire's, which is cruelty free. And I'm going to put these two packets over here. So I use them right away. But I think I'm going to put a bunch of these other items back in this. I think I'll start with these two boxes just because they're so bulky and um, I'll keep them down in the drawer. I totally forgot that these were also in this project. They were inside this clear bag that I got from Ipsy. Love the bag. But anyway, um, these are items that I was supposed to include most of these are on the list already and i had a note to myself to find them so anyway um these items are also going to be included and this is sugar spray is it sugar spray sugar texturizing spray this one is like neuma um styling smoothing cream uh be fine night cream this is actually i think it might be a full size but anyway um, I'm including this in the travel size because I'm not positive. This I know is travel size. This comes in a bigger tube and this is Pacifica Day and Night Face Cream. And this is the Way um, Body and Hair Oil. So anyway, I am going to include all five of these items in the project pan. So anyway, that's it. Finally, this is the Project Pan sample and travel size. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That actually does help me. And um, if you want to join me, let me know, because I know a lot of you uh, do it at home, and then you just kind of let me know when I do updates how many things that you um, finished off. So I also put this on my Instagram, so I will put updates on there as well as making YouTube videos for the updates. So anyway, thank you very much. This is Mary from Reviewer's Diary, and have a beautiful evening. Good night.